All right, so before we got really interrupted and cut off there, um, again, just to recap, any folder, any files uh, that are located in this override FTP section um, will get chosen before the core file. So you can use, you can put your custom edited files here, and that way if some there's an issue, um, you at least know where it might be because it's probably something you did. And of course, if there's still an issue, you could remove it or go back to the default file here. And then if there's still an issue, then you know it's probably on Big Commerce's end. And then you can call customer support and have them maybe look into it for you. Uh, so if you edit the core files and have an issue, sometimes it becomes a question of what was edited, who edited it, and who's to blame. But here you can see what you've done and it could be deactivated if necessary so they can troubleshoot where the real problem may lie. Um, a couple of notes here. Uh, you may be wondering how do you get some of the files to, to edit? You'd like to maybe start from the core file and build on it so you don't have to start from scratch. Well, in BigCommerce's uh, panel here for the template, you'll notice that you can download a zip file with all the template files that make this template up. So you can kind of have um, a starting point for your customizations. And of course, you would only upload to the FTP directory the files that you actually edit. You would not necessarily have to upload every file that makes up the template. And again, this way, this is so that you can keep track of just the files you've changed and don't have to sift through hundreds of files that maybe you did nothing to. So using this method, BigCommerce will pull the files you don't have here from their core files, but anything you edit, they'll choose this one first. So it makes it kind of a nice way to keep track of changes and also experiment with different things. Um, now, when you're editing these main template files, you'll notice that a lot of times to edit certain areas within the page, it might have, let's say, uh, some references. For example, in BigCommerce, this percent percent panel dot wrapper banner percent percent is a reference to an actual smaller bit of code for this area. So if you're trying to edit something in the header and you, you think, well, I can't change that because what does that mean? It's referencing actually uh, another file. And typically, it's in the panels folder. Now again, it may be blank here, but um, you can find the correct panel you'll need to edit, uh, upload it here after you've customized it and BigCommerce will pick this one over the core one. So in this case, we do have a header file, and if we were to, to open that up, you would see the details of that file where you can actually edit some of the custom links, anything else that you may have added to the header section. So again, wherever you see these kind of references, they're referencing um, some type of other file or folder or little bit of code where you can get into more of the details and edit there if you need to. Uh, typically, if it starts with panel, it'll be in a panels folder. If it starts with um, script, it'll be in the script folder. But for most layout, you'll probably just focus on the panels folder. So once you're in the main template area, this panels folder here. So between the panels and the styles, these are primarily the, the most of the areas you'll be visiting to edit the layouts and looks of your BigCommerce website.